Okay, so this is the final one for 2.4. Um, and this one says, okay, we, we pop it up. It goes up to 24.1 meters, right? Um, and then the question is, what's its velocity at ele elevation of 18 meters? Right? So let's draw a picture. Here's where the bat hits it. It goes up. Apparently it goes up 24.1 meters, right? And it goes back down. Okay. 18 meters is like here. Okay, so... We expect it to have a positive velocity on the way up and a negative velocity on the way down. That's why there's two answers there, positive going up, negative going down. Um, and then the question is, how do we solve this thing? Well, really what we want to do, this is like a two-part uh, problem. What we really want to do is use the value from problem four. So from number four, we got that the initial velocity was 21.5. 7449. Now I've actually got that stored in a, a variable called u in my calculator. So I can just bring that up. It's not rounded even this much. It's got like 12 digits on it, right? And to find the velocity, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go suvat, right? And I'm going to go ground to uh, 18 meters, okay? So 18 is my S. My initial is 21.7449. My final velocity is what I want. The acceleration is uh, negative 9.81. Okay. And now I'm all set. The one that I want to use is no T. Okay. So I'm going to use this guy. Okay, and then it's even solved for V almost, right? Okay, so the absolute value of V is equal to the square root of, <laughs> it's harder than you think, guys. Okay, square root of uh, 21.7449 squared, right, plus 2 times negative 9.81. Right, times 18. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this guy into my calculator here. Uh, let's see, square root, left parenthesis. And I'm actually just typing the letter u squared, right? Um, and then I go plus 2 times negative 9.81 times uh, 18. Right parenthesis, enter. And I get 10.9399. Okay, so the absolute value of V, we took the square root of a square, so we have the absolute value of V is 10.9399 meters per second, right? Okay, so what that means is that V is equal to positive 10.9 with sig figs, right? Or negative 10.9 meters per second, um, because this is the absolute value, right? If the absolute value equals this, then it's this or this, right? And in math class, you probably just looked at that and said, well, I'm just going to use the positive answer. But in physics, the positive answer is on the way up, right? Here it is on its way up. The negative answer is when it's on the way down, right? Here it's going to be moving down. It's got a negative velocity. Here it's going to be moving up, right? It's going to have a, a positive velocity. It's supposed to be like cartoon arrows showing motion in case you're worried about what I'm doing there. Okay, so that's the deal with that, okay? And then if you wanted to find the time it took to get to that, those, um, that elevation on the way up and on the way down, you could use V equals U plus AT, but it doesn't ask for that, so I'm not going to do that.